Skelligs is, it's just extraordinary really. I think it's a site you could come to five or six times during a lifetime and each time different weather conditions, different time of the year, different bird sounds and you'd have a different experience. The phrase is often abused but uh, it, it is a spiritual experience. I've made several attempts to visit Skelligs and have uh, gone around it by boat and uh, I'm reluctant to even call it an island. It is a rock sticking out of the ocean. Uh, it's an hour away from the coast and to, to land a boat, to, uh, even to land a person, is quite tricky. This is the first time I've landed and seen the full extent of the site. Patrick, how are you? You sort of get progressively into a different mindset. The course of the ship. Every step of the way, literally every step of the way, is a challenge or is an experience. Oh my God, look at that. That's the high peak, so peak up there. And there's two ways up. There's a way up that was built kind of hand and footholds before it became a pilgrimage site. Nice. And then the bit that's now dangerous enough that you have to wear a harness was built for pilgrims who, so they would lessen their troubles getting up there. You, you certainly lessen your troubles if you lost your foothold. Oh, yeah. Climbing up there, my gosh. We're here at the moment in the monastic settlement, which is the most famous aspect of Skelligs. So this is the inner entrance. Quite dry, quite tall, small little door. Ah, oh, it's stunning. It's a do you realise all these stones had to be carried up the long steps a thousand years ago? Incredible. Uh, and the isolation here. And we were visiting for a few hours, but to, to live here for weeks and months and ends. Certainly purified soul very quickly. That's called a cellae. That's the biggest, the biggest beehive this year. Right. A, B, C, D, E, F, F. And it's St. Michael's Church, St. Michael's Church, that was martyred and uh, we put a line martyred and that restored it about 10 years ago at least. Okay. It's the only building that was, um, that was a martyr. There was evidence that there was mortar there. Well, we must remember that there's always been a history of collapse here back in monastic times and the walls would have collapsed, they'd have rebuilt them. So what we have to do is we have to analyze the movement in this wall and if we're going to take it down, come up with a very good solution, a future-proofing solution so that it stays there. We also have to address the water issues because there's no flood of water coming through the structure. So that's our next big challenge, which is that wall over there, which is moving slightly. That's part of the grand plan. It has to be both in terms of the sustainability of this, also the accessibility. A lot of people do find those steps daunting and, yeah. and fitness levels mean people can't. If we can get the mainland centre up, we get some live cameras here, and couple that with Fergus's plans here now for the lighthouse and yeah, that. Um, and both um, lighthouses. And that helps ease the pressure off the island itself. I'm proud of the, the team we have in the OPW with a lot of expertise. The work that goes into conservation architecture and engineering is extraordinary, but it is a heavy responsibility to do it right. And uh, logistics here means it does take years to do something you could do in six or 12 months in the mainland. You must take great pride, Pat. I mean, so you can say that this wall all the way up is uh, your work over the last number of years. This wall was rebuilt uh, from the base upwards. And then you go down and the, the, the lighthouses, which uh, the OPW are developing at the moment, trying to recreate the visitor experience so you, know, you don't have to climb the steep steps. This is one of our UNESCO World Heritage Sites. You can see why it is iconic, not just for the OBW, but for Ireland and for tourism and for the World Heritage Movement. It's just extraordinary and I think it's something that will uh, 
certainly stay with me for a long time.